So today I'm going to show you how to mine for bitcoins using your uh, processor, your CPU, in your computer. This is a kind of continuation of the GPU one I've done, and a lot of it's really similar. So if you're um, just looking at this one to just figure out how to get your CPU working, then you can jump ahead a little bit. Um, so essentially what NiceHash is, is a website where it combines a whole bunch of crypto mining um, softwares together to make it the most profitable and then pays you out in Bitcoin. So you're probably actually never gonna mine Bitcoin because it's very, very unprofitable to do with your processor or video card right now. Unless you have an ASIC miner, it's almost like you're literally gonna make cents per year using your um, processor or video card. But what NiceHash does is you're gonna mine like uh, Ethereum or you're gonna mine Sia coin or something like that. And then it's gonna combine all of that into a market and then just sell it all and give you Bitcoin. So it's as if you were mining Bitcoin, but just much more profitable. And at the end of the day, you end up with Bitcoin in your wallet, which is what you want. So to start out, uh, you would just go to NiceHash.com. I'll put a link to it in the description. And the first thing to do is scroll down and then go to the option right here where it says mining with your CPU, GPU. So just hit download right here. And then if you're mining with your CPU, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose. Um, but if you want to maybe use your video card as well, then make sure you grab the one that uh, works for your video card. To figure that out, you would just right click, go to device manager, and under display adapters is your video card. So mine is a NVIDIA one. But like I said, this one's based around the CPU, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so it's a fairly large file, so depending on your internet speed, um, it can take a few minutes to download. Once it is downloaded, I have it right here. Um, then just double click on it to install it. I agree. And then as soon as it's finished, um, we can actually set up uh, your Bitcoin wallet. And then also it's going to do a benchmarking of your computer to decide uh, how to run the best algorithms on your computer to make you the most money. So should I accept here? I accept. Type in the code. And it's going to download any extra miners it needs right here. So this is just going to take a few seconds. It just doesn't package it all in by default because it's not sure exactly what you're going to need. So at some point, you'll see this pop up command prompt window. You want to leave this open. This is essentially where it's going to run the miners. And it can give you a little bit of information, like it found what my video card is. And uh, so just essentially, you'll see it. Just leave it there. So first thing to do is set up your wallet. So they have two options here. I prefer using their um, their wallet. Essentially, it would just go into your NiceHash account right here. So go here, go to dashboard. Then it will show up in this wallet as soon as I hit a certain threshold. And in my case, it would be 0.001 Bitcoins. And you can also set up an external wallet um, by using this, but I prefer just to use theirs. So um, it would just be your login address for Nice hash. So you would have created your account already, and once you get here, just put in the email that's associated with your account, hit save, and it will automatically show up in here once you hit a certain threshold. Now we can just hit start, and what it's going to do first is do a benchmarking. That can take a while, um, so it's probably going to take somewhere around 5 to 10, maybe even 15 minutes. So just grab a cup of coffee, come back when it's finished. So as soon as it's finished doing the benchmark, it will probably just immediately start mining. Um, the only issue is a lot of the time it doesn't pick up your CPU in the mining. So if I click on the mining details right here, you'll see that I am generating um, BTC right now, but it's based on my video card. So I meant this tutorial for people who might not have a powerful video card or who just want to play around with their CPU. So it's kind of annoying that it doesn't do it by default. Um, so I kind of figured out the trick to get it working in a lot of cases where it's not. So I would just hit stop here, go to configure, and then go to the advanced and then open the config file. And like, it's gonna give you a warning about it, but uh, we're gonna make a very simple edit here. So in the general.json, right click on that and say edit. And then we're gonna scroll down until we see um, the last devices set up. So you're gonna see here that the um, video card enabled is true. So that one's running where the CPU it's enabled is false. So I'm just gonna change this right here to true. And if you want to mine with both your CPU and your GPU, then just leave them both as true. But if you only want to mine with your processor, then just label that one as false. And then it will only mine with your CPU and will turn off your video card. So then I'll just save that there. But I just hit Control S to save it. 
and now um, we have to restart nice hash. Um, essentially, anytime you make change to the config file, you're gonna have to reboot it for it to take effect. So I'm gonna close out of nice hash, and then I'm gonna start it up again. So now that it's started up, I'm gonna hit start again, and it's probably gonna benchmark my CPU this time, and it is. So probably this pro process is gonna go a little faster than benchmarking the video card was. Um, I didn't make the change first just because some people's CPUs will probably be recognized, so I didn't wanna have to go in and make that change if it wasn't needed, but if your CPU doesn't show up, like if in the first benchmark, if you check the mining statistics, if the CPU doesn't show up in there, that's when you would have to go and edit that file add the CPU, and then when you run this again, it'll benchmark the CPU, and then after that, it should just start mining. So now that my new benchmark is finished, I'm gonna go into the mining details, and now you see it's only running on my CPU. And my CPU is much less effective than the video card, uh, it's somewhere around a third, so I usually mine with both of them at the same time, but if you wanna do some other stuff while you're mining, then maybe you wanna leave your GPU or your CPU not mining. So. Um, essentially that's the easiest way to mine bitcoins with your CPU. If you want some different cryptocurrency, then I would recommend using one of the exchanges. I'll link you to it in the description. So if you want to trade your uh, Bitcoin for like some Ethereum or Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash or whatever, then um, I have actually I have another video showing how to do that too. So I'll probably link that in the description as well.